Hi guys, it's from Groot, your friendly neighbor, and I'm back with another reaction video. And this is my second reaction, reaction video of uh, the upcoming Robocop game. And this is uh, a video made by IGN, and it's some uh, more uh, in-game uh, game, oh, in uh, uh, footage, uh, some action clips, and some uh, more explaining behind the scenes and stuff. And I will link this, um, uh, yeah, this uh, video description in my, um, no, uh, I will link this uh, IGN um, channel in my video description. That's the word I was after. And uh, yeah, uh, and uh, as an old 80s boy, as you can see here, I'm very hyped for this game. I loved Robocop when growing up. So let's dive into this and uh, yeah, uh, I will react while we are watching and maybe I uh, are going to pause the stuff uh, so I can talk a little more freely. And you guys, if you like my content, you know what to do. Please leave those thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Yeah. So here we go. Let's just... Um, uh, see what this IGN uh, has to say about the Robocop and let's dive into this new gameplay footages. Over 35 years since he first Whoa. stomped the streets of Detroit, Robocop returns to the front lines. Your move, creep. Taeon, the studio behind Terminator Resistance and Rambo the video game, is primed for its most ambitious 80s action movie revival yet. Set between the events of Robocop 2 and 3, with Peter Weller reprising his iconic role, Robocop Rogue City takes us back Hell to yeah. old Detroit. The original... Detroit once again to clean Excellent. up the streets, promising familiar faces, a huge helping of explosive violence, and the franchise's gloriously stilted cheesy humor. Allowing dealers to steal from each other may result in less drugs on the street. What? That would suck. Yeah, that's a fucking Rogue classic, a guys. Bloody first -person Some shooter 80s punchlines as well. That takes us on well. an authentic trip to Alex Murphy's old haunts to chase a new threat. And some blood and gore as well. Rogue City opens with a now Fuck familiar yeah, satirical news segment, which is interrupted by a gang of punky thugs dubbed the Torchheads. This band of criminals is heavily tied to Nuke, the highly addictive narcotic from Robocop 2, and they proceed to take the Channel 9 news team hostage. Enter Detroit's shiny Robocop and his partner, Agent Ann Lewis, who are called to quell the disturbance and hunt down the gang's leader. This being Robocop, restoring peace is done with little so guys have to twerk things up a little bit here with the settings. Little subtlety. Armed with his legendary Auto 9, Robocop trudges methodically through the building, popping enemy skulls with each well-aimed shot. Despite his Fuck, slow, yeah, tank-like movement, I've never played an FPS with a protagonist as slow and deliberate as Robocop. This and looks fucking awesome, guys. He Look at that, man. Some blood splatter so and blood and gore. He doesn't need to hide behind cover. He Fuck, just yeah. soaks up bullets like whoa, a sponge, whoa, whoa, whoa. and if he runs low on ammo, no problem. Just walk up to the nearest criminal and punch a hole in his face. Oh, yeah. As such, Rogue City immediately makes you feel like a boss-level threat, and none of its early enemies really stood a chance against me on normal difficulty. Robocop can neutralize a room full of enemies within seconds, and thanks to his scanning abilities, you can sweep and clear the surroundings with ease. While this combat loop was satisfying for a couple of hours, I do question the longevity of it all. Robocop will only get more powerful as the game progresses, and in the brief time I had with the demo, I didn't face yeah, a single uh, enemy that guys. Place. This looks cool. Uh, very cool idea of uh, doing a Robocop uh, first person shooter game. Uh, just go in there and uh, get into that Robocop role and uh, just blow enemies into pieces. But yeah, I will totally play this game. But one thing that is very important what is this game going to cost? If this game is like 70 bucks, 60 or 70 bucks, I don't think it's worth, man, just for a uh, first person shooter game. So we will uh, have to do some more in investigation about this. But the gameplay looks uh, 
fucking awesome, guys. A real threat. So where does the challenge come from? Hopefully that will become apparent when we spend more time with Rogue City. After a fiery first meeting with the Torchheads, I got a brief look at how Rogue City will tackle Robocop's other duties. Alongside fights to the death with the main gang, you take on investigative objectives to poke around for clues at crime scenes and make arrests. Robocop has no reservations about taking out hostile foes in one fell swoop, but some of Rogue City's side quests have him restore an order by more peaceful means. In one case, I could choose a non-threatening dialogue option to convince a suspect to part with valuable information about their whereabouts of a drug dealer, rather than well, making that's him cool, cooperate. Man. So violence isn't the only route you can take when chasing leads. In another side quest, my main you can be a is simply good carrying cop a drunk way, up to as well as a favor to another police officer. Furthermore, public trust is earned by interacting with Detroit's inhabitants, and there's a skill tree option that allows you to open up new dialogue choices to aid in your investigations. Detroit itself feels like a city in distress. The disheveled buildings and grimy streets are ripped. Ah, right, man, I, I think this is a pretty interesting idea, man. And look at the graphic in this game. This is different, a little different take with this, uh, that you can interact with the, uh, with the um, NPCs and stuff, and just uh, work things around in the store and how to, uh, yeah, how to uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, yeah, how to uh, first proceed in the story in, from in the different ways and the delinquents that lurk on street corners are more than just set dressing listen closely enough and you'll pick up splinters of conversations that when you piece them together may provide clues about where to lead the investigation next or open up new side objectives rogue city is built in unreal engine 5 and despite a few frame drops and glitches in the preview build i yeah, played this its looks gloomy cool, alleyways guys. and neon soaked shop fronts look slick and detailed Robocop himself looks fantastic too. Taeon has taken great care to recreate in every grill and compartment on his suit, and the city lights gleam on his armor when you stop to talk to other characters, even if there are moments where the lighting doesn't quite hit right. Noticeable camera shake and the heavy thud of Robocop's footsteps made me feel like a hefty tank when I was stomping through the streets. Place looks deserted. Are you sure your junkie friend didn't mix up the venue? He is the type who likes to mix things up. Shall have to see. <laughs> Fans will immediately yeah, yeah, guys, other that's some cheesy like uh, prologue the there. Character models aren't like I want them. Realistic as Robo I'm an old the 80s has boy. A selection of different hairstyles and oh, outfits yeah. to differentiate them, but you won't be paying much attention to their attire when you're caught in a firefight anyway. This rogue city is a grubby and authentic step into Paul Verhoeven's dystopian Detroit, and it springs to life on your patrols. Between quests, you can use RoboVision to scan for nearby misdemeanors like traffic violations and disorderly oh, conduct wow, to ensure cool, you clean man. up every nook and cranny of the city as you go. You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. Although Robocop is still bound by his prime directives, I enjoyed the few occasions I was able to work around them to suit the kind of Robocop I wanted to be. One side quest had me handling complaints at the police station, where I had the chance to decide whether to side with the individual or issue a ticket. In situations where things can turn violent, players will sometimes have the option to take a pacifist approach. Yeah, guys, that's cool. So you, this game is not, not just about to go around and... Uh fuck enemies up by blowing their heads up you can actually be a real cop and uh, yeah try to uh, build up relationships and stuff that's that's really cool man there's certainly room for empathy in your interactions with the people in detroit and keeping them happy will increase your public trust score Nonetheless, in the few investigations Ooh, I've conducted okay, so okay, far, I, I was still met with plenty of opportunities to exercise Robocop's silly humor, and sometimes that means being a little heavy-handed. For example, during one quest, I had the chance to utter a stiff one-liner before smashing up someone's radio because it was too loud. Was this unnecessary? Definitely. But justice was Yeah, served. fucking awesome, guys. You need to be taught some manners. 
Robocop starts with a few base abilities, including night vision, a shockwave that mimics a flashbang, and the option to temporarily slow down time to clear a room <clears> quicker. <throat> Aiming down sights scans the surroundings to highlight nearby enemies to make them easier to spot. And he can also move faster, shifting from a slow, deliberate stomp to a heavy, brisk walk. Additionally, these abilities can be upgraded to improve their effectiveness and in some cases, turn them lethal. For example, continuing to invest points in the combat branch of the skill tree eventually buffs Robo's shockwave to instantly kill enemies, whereas sticking with armor Whoa. upgrades his suit so it deflects bullets to damage enemies. Robocop's potent primary weapon, the Auto 9, has its own tab of upgrades that are unlocked throughout the game's 20 to 30 hour campaign. But I didn't get to see any of these enhancements Ooh. in action. Players can also pick up firearms. 20 to 30 hours campaign for a first person shoot game. That's pretty much, uh, pretty big, man. Okay, now I'm more, even more interesting, interested in this game drums dropped by the city's lawbreakers and use them for a limited time. However, I typically stuck with the Auto 9 due to its reliability and unlimited ammo. There are also exploding barrels, hefty CRT monitors, and more to fling around Rogue City's destructible environments, all of which work well as makeshift grenades. I only encountered human enemies during the demo, a couple of whom wore helmets for extra protection, and some that carried exploding barrels. But more recognizable enemies, including ED-209, who featured in the trailer, won't... Yeah. And this is also uh, uh, um, a point of discuss uh, discussion we have, we have to have. Uh, if it's only humans that you are fighting against, it uh, can be pretty dull uh, and boring after some couple of hours, in my mind. Uh, I like a, a big variety of enemies, and okay, maybe they are... Uh, putting in some uh, other robots and stuff, like from the movies, but okay, that could be a downside. Uh, we have to wait and see. Uh, yeah, let's continue. Won't appear until later in the game. There's no escaping Robocop's trigger-happy approach, and nor would you want to, but ultimately he's still a police officer instated to uphold the law. As such, there are several skills that build on Robo's eagle eye and lightning speed processing powers, which come in handy when you're searching for clues. Some objects, and indeed people, can be scanned to get more information during an investigation. There are also instances where you need to pause and collect a specific number of clues to analyze crime scenes. This is where Robo's deduction and engineering skills Ooh, shine. Deduction wow. provides enhanced scanning abilities, which help you detect more useful information such as safe combinations. Then if you've leveled up your engineering skills enough, you can... This is like some mix between, I don't know... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't uh, really can uh, describe it, but it's some... Uh, it's some... Uh, I, it's, it's giving me some uh, Detroit Become Human vibes uh, with this... Uh, uh, scanning stuff and looking for clues, and that's cool, man. Crack open the safes themselves. Arguably, the most interesting side of Robocop is his psychology branch, which leans into the game's choice system. Investing enough in the skills doubles your public trust points and later lets you predict the consequences of certain dialogue choices. According to the developer, the decisions you make throughout the game will impact Rogue City's ending, although we're not sure to what extent just yet. Rogue City's game director says that some choices will determine which side characters live or die, but we'll have to wait to see how much of an impact this has on the story. Your choices also have consequences that may surface sooner than that. These can be almost immediate, such as coaxing out information that provides a lead in a case, to more subtle ripples later on. For example, letting a kid off with a warning for graffiti and may lead to you getting a favorable mention scrawled on a city wall down the line, opposed to something hostile. One thing that Rogue City doesn't oh, shy away uh, from is Robocop's flashbacks to his wife as Alex Murphy. This surfaces almost immediately as an ongoing malfunction and it's something OCP is eager to fix. This side of Robocop is clumsily handled in the movies and never truly reaches a satisfying resolution by the end of the second film. But the game's developer man, assured I fucking me that love this movie, man. part of Rogue City's story. Combined with the dialogue options and decisions players can make, I'm keen to see how Taeyeon dives into the lingering human fragments in Robocop's memories and whether they'll have a more meaningful impact on the story this time around.
Overall, Rogue City has the makings of a faithful homecoming for Robocop fans. The demo immediately nails the franchise's yeah. exaggerated badass tone, and it's pumped to the gills with humor, violence, and all of the movie's callbacks you'd hope for. However, I'm curious to see how Tilm plans to maintain Robocop's momentum to keep combat feeling fresh and introduce more of a challenge as players unlock new abilities and upgrades. I've only played through Rogue City's opening missions and didn't have a chance to test the game on different difficulties, but I was a bit disappointed that I didn't get to see a wide a variety of enemies or face yeah, a real yeah, threat there have it, guys. to use Robocop's full set As of I said. tools. While some of Robocop's abilities sound promising, it's difficult to predict how much of an impact they'll have on the game's combat loop without trying them against tougher enemies. After recently watching the movies, I was excited to step into the shoes of a powerful action hero and tear through Detroit. Robocop certainly feels capable of doing so, but I'm concerned that simply bulldozing through enemies will lose its appeal quickly. I'm also intrigued by the idea of seeing more of Robocop's interactions with other police officers and the public, but as of now, it's too early to be sure how deep Rogue City's choice system really goes. For more on Robocop Rogue City, check out the latest trailer, and for everything else, stick with IGN. Yeah, guys, I will send you this link in the video description. And uh, yeah, there you have it, guys. So, yeah, as he says in the, in, yeah, in the end here about this uh, enemy variety, uh, that's a concern. That is a concern. But yeah, overall, I, I think this game looks pretty cool. Um, that's because maybe I am. Uh, a little, what do you call it? Uh, a fanboy. Maybe that's why, because I grew up in this period when the movie movies came out. So, yeah. But yeah, I think this looks cool and it's very promising. And uh, yeah, we will, yeah, or I will keep my eyes open and uh, look for more clues and more hints about this upcoming Robocop Rogue City game. So, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, as always, Godspeed and God bless to you all. And if you like my content, please, guys, leave those thumbs up. And as always, hit that subscribe button. So thanks for watching. And from Groot signing out.